Hey, this is Dr. Story. I'm going to show you an x-ray today of what we call a lateral pelvic shift with distortion of the sacroiliac joints. Um, we found it on an exam, but because the patient had a trauma, we took an x-ray of the patient. And it's interesting to see this because it correlates very highly with what I found on the exam. We, before we did an adjustment, we just wanted to make sure the patient didn't fracture anything because of the trauma, but there's some interesting findings here I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna turn out the lights, I'm gonna show you exactly what I found. Okay, so we're looking at the actual x-ray here, and this is a patient who is standing upright he was given very specific instructions to uh, stand facing us and um, wasn't distorted at all. So what you're looking at here is this is his left side. If you were to place your hands on your hips and um, put them on your top of your hips because like you're mad at someone, this is where you'd be placing your hands. This is the right side, this is the left side. Now the thing is, most patients will say, oh, I put my hands on your hips. Those aren't your hips, by the way. Those are the iliam, iliac bones, um, but everybody calls them their hips. The actual hip joints are actually right in there. It's a ball and socket joint. Now what's interesting about this is, so we've got our ilium right here, and you can notice the size difference from each side. This triangle-shaped bone here is the sacrum. Now the sacrum, right in the middle of the sacrum is right here in line with the actual spine. And the, this line here is what's called the sacroiliac joints. And what you notice here is there's a little bit more whiteness here than there is over here and that indicates the patient probably has some inflammation of the bone. It's probably been a long-standing uh, problem. Now this right here is where this whole pelvic bone comes together in what's called a pubic symphysis. And that area should be in perfect alignment with the sacrum. And obviously it's not. The person is way over to the left. And you can actually see these are called the obturator foramen and these should look symmetrical. In other words, they should look the same. But because of the distortion of the actual hip itself, um, you could see the difference in there, and that's a pretty wild um, situation. So we found the uh, dysfunction on his actual right side. Uh, by, by the way, WB means weight-bearing, so he's standing. We found the dysfunction on his right sacroiliac joint, so this is actually um, a PIEX which we adjusted and what's amazing is the patient's pain in his lower back really improved right away his hip pain and groin pain was there but what's interesting about this case is that if this is left untreated this sacroiliac joint will start to become more dysfunctional lock up and he'll start to get more discomfort in his hip and his hip because it'll have an excessive amount of strain on the cartilage there, he will have early stage arthritis in his hip from this type of condition. So we corrected it, um, it didn't take that long, and but this is an interesting case because it shows you how a pelvic distortion that you find on an exam can be visualized on an x-ray.